yeah, Shohei sent me the video and it was just like, it was awesome. It was really cool to get that video. And he just said, like, he hopes to, he wants me to come on the team and helps to hit some home runs for me and join me in the pitching staff the following year. So um, it was an awesome video. I mean, it, it felt really cool. That's just someone that I also watched from afar and just what he's able to do on a baseball field is it's nothing short of just insanity. So it was cool. And that definitely added a lot of points for me to, to go to the Dodgers, you know, so I think his recruitment worked. That's new Dodger and SoCal native Tyler Glass now talking about the recruitment call he got from fellow new Dodger Shohei Otani. That's pretty powerful stuff. What a beast they're putting together. And would you know that uh, Tyler still has not left his car from yesterday's presser with the Dodgers <laughs> media. He joins us on the stove a day later. Tyler, good morning. Congratulations on your deal, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, super excited. Uh, I'm so excited I can't go home. I've just been living in my car. So it's been pretty fun. <laughs> you got it. You're, you're a, an L.A. County guy uh, up there. Are you in the 805 right now? Are you going to stay anchored in Santa Clarita, or are you going to live closer to the ballpark? No, I'll live closer to the ballpark. I mean, growing up, the traffic trying to get from Santa Clarita to uh, Dodger Stadium was insane. So it, was, it could be anywhere from 45 minutes to like two and a half hours. So I'll live somewhere closer to the stadium. I haven't really looked like a whole lot yet I don't know if I'll rent I don't know if I'll buy but I was just out there a little bit but I'm back in Tampa now just on the internet on Zillow and stuff just doing my searches yeah yeah did, did, uh, how many Dodger games did you get to as a kid did you go frequently quite a lot yeah so it was I mean like most of the time we could go it was like on a school night so we would do the traditional like get there in the second leave in the seventh type of thing and then like getting out of Dodger stadiums crazy and then getting on the freeway to go home so but you're not go gonna be offended when people aren't packed when you start the game no, I'll be I'll be the only one. I'll be like, I understand. Like I get this trap this is crazy. Like <laughs> Hey, you know, I want to ask you this part of the question too, because you know, you had a good run in Tampa. I know you have fond memories there and you, you think very highly of teammates, coaches, and then the people that run that that really well run organization. Do you, when you leave, when you're traded, you can't possibly say goodbye to everybody, right? What do you do? Like a bulk text? Do you try to call as many guys as you can? How do you handle that? I, think, I mean, a lot of it's like test met, the texting and like people reaching out and then like a couple calls. And I still have to go to the field and clean out my locker because I haven't since season because I was just I trained there in the off season, So I'll go and like say bye to everybody. But for the most part, it's been text messages and calling and, and everything like that. But I still there's a, a few more people I still got to talk to, but I'm sure it'll happen like in the next couple of weeks. It was yeah. just such a crazy amount of text messages all at once and stuff. So it's kind of it's like trying to catch up to everything. So what was that like when you started hearing your name floated around as possible trade? Because it started happening even trade deadline last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, for me, I kind of knew it was going to happen. So it wasn't really like a shock. You know, I think like <clears throat> I think a lot of times playing with the Rays, I uh, my time there was longer than most. So I've, I felt lucky to be there for six years. You know, I think a lot of times when you guys kind of come in and come out like one to three years and um, – I think, it, yeah, like last year when they were going to trade me and then I signed that extension, I was like, I'm, I'm as good as God. Like, not in, a, not in a mean way, but I kind of figured when I signed <laughs> that one year, I wasn't going to stay there very long. So um, I, was, I was ready for it, and I'm glad it was a team I really wanted to go to. Well, you had the injury, so that had to be like, man, why now? Because you're moving right ahead, getting ready to be a free agent. And then the Dodgers come calling, and they work out a multi-year deal. So do you feel like, all right, this all worked out pretty good? Yeah, for sure. Um, I, it was, I had a short list of teams I wanted to go to and the Dodgers were definitely on it. And I think it was an opportunity for me to go there. I, I could have waited one year to become a free agent, but it wasn't necessarily about like me making the, like the absolute most I could. It was about going to a team I was going to be happy with. And I think the off chance of me, like if I didn't maybe work with them on an extension, the chances of me getting traded to a team this year that I didn't want to go to are relatively high. So it was like, it's kind of hedging my bets. Like I really want to go to the Dodgers. If I sign an extension, I can for sure go there and I can stay there. And it just, it worked out for me. It worked out for everyone. You know, the trade was good for the Rays, the Dodgers, us. It, it was kind of a win-win all around. So when did you start feeling healthy and how do you stay healthy moving forward? What's the plan? So the bulk majority of my injuries were always the same exact injury. It was always the UCL. And I like, I had like the initial tear was in 2019. Um, and it was just kind of the same for three years and I kept getting hurt around the same time. And finally, even with the MRI not showing a lot, they went in and then they realized that the UCL was like off the bone and I'm pretty confident it was mm. off the bone since 19. 
because it was like a grind every time I try to pitch. Anytime I try to throw, even in the off season for a few years, it was like I just thought it was my new normal. But I went did in it, and got well, the surgery. Well, explain and then, that real quick. Right. Did it hurt? Did it pinch? Yeah. What happened? How yeah. did you? <laughs> yeah, it sucked for three years. Like in 19, <laughs> when it first happened, it was not good. And then I, I it like kind of scar tissued over. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what it did. But whatever happened, it like kind of got back and it felt like a kind of attached. And then I, I tried to pitch again and it was just, I had to warm up for like a long, like an hour before I would pitch and I'd like shockwave my elbow. I just tried to like numb up the area. And as the wow. years went on, the more innings I'd get, it was just every start hurt really bad. And I would talk to people, and like my velo didn't go down, so I was like, I don't need to get surgery. I think I just have a messed up arm. And then I went in and got the surgery. And even in the pain I was in after waking up from the surgery, I was like, yep, they fixed it. Like I could just tell something was different. And as I started to progress and started to throw, even like your first few months of throwing after Tommy John are supposed to be really painful, but I was like, this is amazing. It felt way <laughs> better than blood, it so, Spin it, shoot it know. back into the injury. Yeah, all that, all that gross stuff. So I was like, I was like, let's go. I'm ready to go. There's not as much pain. I'm, I feel good. Hey, uh, we understand now that you've signed this this great deal. Uh, we understand that uh, William S. Hart High School has called, and the donation envelope <laughs> is on its way to you. Uh, as you know, it's a long, distinguished history of William S. Hart alums that have come back to uh, donate to the program, including our own Kevin Millar. Uh, ignorant ministers, it makes shameful. Yeah, I'm not sure if that, we, we have him here as a low backtracks spokesman. Uh, is there a fraternity of you guys? Or do you guys all know each other and talk about your high school days? I mean, I know like Walk, I know uh, Shields. I talked to him last year when he got his number retired. I talked to him quite a bit. And then obviously Millar talked to you a few times. We're not on like a group chat or anything, but when we see each other, it's definitely very like, what's up? So it was nice to to meet Shields. And I think anytime you have someone that goes to your high school, you do have that kind of like that bond. So every time talking to them, it's been it's been pretty sweet. There's a pretty long list of dudes that have been there too, even over the years. Um, so it's been nice to just be able to kind of grow up and ask those guys questions, I guess. And when you go back home, when I was younger, I'd go back home and I'd see them and talk about stuff so it is it's cool everyone's kind of come full circle what was your first your first experience in dodger stadium do you remember your first game that you watched as a kid or or did you play like in a high school tournament there the first time i remember going i was i don't know like what age i was but i do remember the walking in like when you walk into the tunnel and then like it's just the concourse and then you go finally out yeah to the field and it's just this insane spectacle and the music's blasting and i've obviously showed up in the second so it was already fully flared baseball <laughs> like already playing and i remember just being like wow like that experience anytime you go to a big league place like or like whatever professional setting when you walk in that feeling of like whoa and the music and i remember vividly like sitting in my seats looking at the dugout and guys sitting up on the railing and just having like an overwhelming amount of jealousy. Cause it was a Sunday, I think the first time I went to a game and I was like, I have to go to school tomorrow and you guys get to just play baseball for a living. And I just remember being like, I have to find a way to be a professional baseball player. And then now I think even there's moments where I'm sitting in the dugout and I look up and I'm like, I'm, I don't have to go to school tomorrow. I'm so excited. <laughs> like, it's so cool. I love that. School's I love out. School's hey, out. so my last yeah. question, my <laughs> last question for you, the hair. Talk to me about the hair, what products, how long you've been growing it. I mean, that's the first thing that stands out when I see you is that, man, I wish I had locks like that. Clearly, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I think my dad had some good hair. Mom's got good hair. I think it's just uh, maybe a genetic thing. But I do, I regularly, I shower and I shampoo and I condition and I do all that stuff. And I'll throw some random stuff in it like throughout the, the season. I think it's kind of dependent on like where I am on the road and like what our clubbies get, you know, like whatever's in the clubhouse. And then I'll throw like random stuff in it sometimes if it's dry, like some oily things, like whatever I can get. I'm not really too crazy with, I don't have like a super crazy routine, but I've just had it long for so long. And I, I've had it longer when I was younger too. And I was a little skater boy. So I kind of, it just feels like me, you know? It's a good, you got a, you, you're in LA, you're going to get a shampoo. It's a good, good science experiment every day. <laughs> hey, Tyler, we appreciate the visit, man. Congratulations on your deal. Such a great story for baseball, for the Dodgers, for you going home. And uh, cheers to you maybe being able to get out of your car at some point in the next day or so. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll definitely try. <laughs> Tyler Glass <laughs> now joining us. Guys. Thanks I'm for so thanks thrilled you're, for you're healthy, man. The game misses you. I love watching you Thank pitch. You, dude. Yep. Awesome. Thanks again, Appreciate Tyler. It a lot.